Daryl Morey knows what he's doing. If What's good, y'all? What's good, Real Talk Squad? This is Miles, and you're listening to Real Talk with Miles Johnson, where you know I always keep it real. Let's get right into it, man. Let's get straight into it, bro. Let's get straight into it. If you're watching right now, subscribe, like, comment, do all that jazz. If you are listening on the podcast, make sure to subscribe so you know when the latest episodes drop. Links are all down below in the description. I'm going to talk about my Sixers, bro. I'm going to talk about our offseason. Talk about my man, you know, Keith Pompey, Sixers beat writer. He went on record. And what did he say? Well, he went on record, you know, talking about basically Daryl Morey has an asking price that is astronomically high. Astronomically high. Astronomically. Astronomically high for Tobias Harris. When I first heard this, I was mad. And when I first heard this, I was like, I want to trade Tobias Harris. Any Sixers fan wants him gone. I'm pretty sure any Sixers fan wants him gone. Ain't nobody pay you five years, 180 mil for you to be an above average starter, bro. Like, we're still, we're still, like, uh, Elton Brand, bro. The moves that Elton Brand made, like, we're still having to, like, recoup those losses, bro. We're still, like, to this day. To this, he was the worst GM in Sixers history. History. I digress. So, if Tobias Harris, a lot of Sixers fans, you know, people in Philly, we want Tobias Harris gone. And he hasn't performed up to level of his contract. He's about to make 40 mil. If you're about to make 40 mil, you should be an all-star. He's not an all-star. But here's the thing that Daryl Morey is doing. What Daryl Morey is doing is he's making his asking price high so they get the best deal. Why would you, if you're negotiating something, start off low? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. I'm starting off high. And if I don't get the highest number, I'm going to get somewhere, you know, in the meet, in the middle. And, heck, that's going to work. Daryl Morey knows what he's doing. This is the same guy that flipped Ben Simmons, Andre Drummond, and Seth Curry for James Harden. And given the way that Ben Simmons has played, that is a steal. That was a steal. And the Sixers knew he wasn't the same player. And they knew they fleeced the Nets. They knew it. They flat out knew it. Daryl Moore knows what he's doing. Would you rather have your GM sell somebody or trade somebody for pennies and nickels like the Cavs did with Kyrie Irving? Kyrie Irving wanted to trade. What'd they do? They sent him for a bag of chips to Boston. You don't want that. You don't want to be like David Griffin who just, all right, I'm going to just trade you. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make the best or like not even not even the best trade, just the only trade that I get or like the, the first trade that I get. I'm going to just trade you. No, he's going to wait. Daryl Moore is going to wait, have the asking price high. And then somebody is going to come up with something. If you if you, you know, have a high asking price, it's going to be somebody that either bites or gives you something just below what you asked for. But because you had such a high asking price, you're going to meet equal value or even more than equal value for Tobias Harris. Now, the Sixers have this going for them. They got a real coach. They have a recent championship coach in Nick Nurse. So, by this, is really like run it back. Run it back one year. One year y'all got to run it back. I know that, you know, it's James Harden, Joel Embiid, game six, game seven, they choked. They choked. I know, you know, they say, you know, running it back with the same results is like insanity. It is insanity. 
But I do believe that Nick's nurse, Nick Nurse is head and shoulders a better coach than Doc Rivers. Easily. So if Nick Nurse can't get this done by the trade deadline, all right, cool. Get rid of everybody. Get rid of everybody. Let's see what Nick Nurse can do with Tobias Harris. Now, Tobias Harris went on record. Well, he didn't go on record, but Tobias Harris' dad went on record and said, my son is an assassin. Doc Rivers basically ain't used him right. Your son is not an assassin. He's not a killer, bro. At the end of the day, if you're a killer, you don't need no coach to unlock it for you. You think John Morant, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Steph Curry, De'Aaron Fox, Jamal Murray, all these guys need a coach to, to unlock their killer, their assassin mentality? No. They say, give me the ball and get out my way. That's what they do, bro. Your son is not that, bro. I know that you are a, a dad, protective over your son. Your son is not that guy. He's not that guy. He's a good player. He ain't no killer. He ain't no killer. And that's what it is. And that's what it is, bro. I just, I'm dropping my phone. People calling me all that. We're going to keep on going. Your son is not a killer, bro. He's not a killer. And we're not going to act like he is one. So stop it. Stop it. But if there's any coach that can bring the best out of this roster, this is a roster, and I don't believe that Del Morey is done yet with constructing this team. Since he's been here, he has turned this team around. I believe that the Sixers have enough talent to get out the Eastern Conference, or at the very least, get to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's 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 minimum. They have enough talent, bro. We don't we don't even know what the Bucks are going to do. We don't know what Giannis and all of them are. They going to resign Brooke Lopez. We don't know. You feel me? The Celtics, they I don't know about them, although they 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 did get better. But it's like you feel me, like they have enough talent. By re-signing James Harden, regardless of what you think about him, he's still a bucket at the end of the day. Does he perform to what we know he can perform at in crunch time? No, not at all. Far from it. But he's still a guy that I would want on my team. I just need another killer. I need somebody else. I need somebody else that I can depend. I need some. I need another go-to scorer in, the, in, 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 you know, in, in crunch time. In crunch time. So now this goes to my next point. The Sixers have two options. Run it back with Nick Nurse. See how the Sixers are doing up to the trade deadline. Do that. However, however, if you feel like y'all are not going to get to the Eastern Conference Finals, the Finals, or win a championship with the roster currently constructed, you got to trade Tyrese Maxey and get Damian Lillard. It's, that, 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 that's, that's what you got to do. The Sixers, they have two options, bro. You either, after this season, if it doesn't work, or up to the trade deadline, either trade for Damian Lillard, and you're going to have to give up Tyrese Maxey, or you trade everybody and build around Tyrese Maxey. But it's stupidity to run the same thing over and over. So, what are y'all going to do if you come, you know, trade deadline and you know that this team is not, you know, like y'all know a team is a championship contender by January. You know, you know. So by the trade deadline, if the Sixers, if we feel like, you know, this team is not championship ready, it's two options. You are trading for Damian Lillard if he's available. And you're going to have to give up Tyrese Maxey. Or you're saying, you know what? We are going to clean shop. And we're going to trade Joel Embiid. We're going to trade James Harden. And we're going to build around Tyrese Maxey. It's, it's those two options, bro. Because run, run the same thing back again and again and again. It's just, it's, it's just dumb. You're going to end up being like the Portland Trailblazers. Right now, they're holding on to Damian Lillard. Holding on real, real hard. When they know in reality, we're not going nowhere if he's our best player. And the Sixers have to come to that realization after this season. Can we win a championship with Joel Embiid as our best player? 
Now, I do believe you have Damian Lillard and Joel Embiid. Now it's a different story. Now it's the Sixers with, you know, in, 20, in 2019 when Embiid had a dog, right, a, a flat-out dog in Jimmy Butler. Same thing goes with Damian Lillard. So let me know what you think down below. Look, I love the Sixers. Love this team. Nick Nurse is going to be a great coach for us. But there are some decisions to make. But Daryl Morey knows what he's doing. If you're a Sixers fan, you're worried. This guy has literally changed the construction of, the, of this team since he's been here. This guy flipped Ben Simmons for James Harden. Ben Simmons is averaging 6 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists. Worse than us. Worse than people with us. That was a steal. Let me know what, what you think down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Podcast listeners, you already know what to do. With that being said, y'all, I'm out.